Hello guys and girls and welcome to this video. My name is Anspire. So I'm really happy to present you with my first Friday video in a long time. It's been a week since I switched to one video a week and I felt great about it. And I hope that you guys are still okay with it. So I'm really happy that I can paint a Fun Art Friday actually on a Friday. For those of you who don't know, I've been doing it on Saturdays and calling it Fun Art Friday anyway. anyway. <coughs> Sorry about that. Because it just sounded so nice. And yeah, it's really great to paint May from Overwatch uh, on the actual Friday. So I really enjoyed this uh, painting and this artwork in general. I did um, put a lot of thought in it, and that's why it sort of came late because I made the pole and then I sat on it for a very long time. The reason was that I wanted to do something Halloween related but I wasn't sure what. So I explored a lot of different possibilities. I started thinking about what May as her character would be dressed as. So I started looking into characters, other characters from mainstream media that had similar powers to her so something to do with ice and I immediately thought of Elsa, but then she's blonde. I thought of Ash and Crystal Maiden, so that's from respectively from League of Legends and Dota. And honestly, they just really don't look like her. They all look very like hot and sexy and really not that cute. I mean, I couldn't picture Ash, like May dressed as Ash. It just doesn't work very well. Also, she's just she doesn't have obviously a ball. Which is a bit weird, although you could say that she shoots very long range in Overwatch, but still. I thought really hard and then I thought that maybe I should actually, if I'm having problems with the color of her hair, maybe I should pick a character that is very strong and very iconic and still has brown hair or dark hair. And I started looking into it and then Wonder Woman popped into my mind because I thought, well, May, she has lots and lots of layers there, lots of clothes. So what if she was actually wearing a Wonder Woman costume underneath? And that's how the pose sort of came about to be because I was thinking like, ooh, maybe someone asked May what she was going to be for Halloween and she's actually already dressed up every day <laughs> and just waiting for it. So I decided to have this um, cheeky pose where she's showing off her costume beneath all her sort of coats and layers and still being very cute her hair I decided to put down because that that makes her resemble the character a bit more and then I also put the headband just as sort of um, a nice addition to the whole costume and <coughs> and an earring as well so this is how the picture came about to be it was uh, it was not an easy picture because it tackled a lot of things I didn't know how to paint. I didn't know how to paint a pose like this. I couldn't imagine how the hands would look, how the face would look winking. And I had a lot of trouble, especially with the face, because it just looked so weird, no matter how much I painted it. And this is why I decided to work with a lot of references. And not only because of that, but because a lot of artists on Twitter have been tweeting about it and saying that if you're not using references, you're depriving yourself of a really strong pool of resources to make your art better. So basically, as a learning resource, the references are great. And for references, I took one woman with a jacket, as you've probably seen, May herself, so I can look at her colors and look at how uh, her clothes are. And uh, one of Sakimi Chan's artworks, I can't recall what this one is called, but I took a part of it because I really wanted to see how she'd done the winky face. So, um, yeah, I started painting, and as soon as I started painting, looking at the references, I felt a lot better about what I was doing, and I felt like it was coming along nicely. And I did add some touches of mine, I'm not sure if they work very well or not, but this is how I wanted to do it and I'm really happy with the artwork overall because I just spent so much more time on it that I would normally would with the other posting schedule. It was great to come back from work and although I was tired I could just do like a half an hour or an hour of painting. I wasn't forced to do like a whole two hours or something because that really it let me it made me burn out very quickly and made me hate what I was doing 
but now I felt really great about this picture because I took my time with it and I'm happy with it and hope you guys liked it as well uh, I think I think this is everything I wanted to say today so if you like this picture it is a reward for my patreon for this month it's uh, going to be up on my patreon links are down below and at the end of this video I will post a, a few more links in the description linking to my Etsy shop where I have commissions and some original art available to buy and also you can check my DeviantArt page for regular art updates and for everything else there is Twitter I'm really active on Twitter because I love it as a social media it's very immediate it's very fast quick paced and I love sharing stuff like that Inktober is still going on and I'm doing Inktober and I've done 20 days already so wow yay me I didn't think I would make it this far but I did so if you want to see all my Inktober um, drawings and all my future Inktober drawings make sure you follow me on Twitter all right oh that's a lot of social media to go through <laughs> thanks for listening guys and thanks for watching hope you have a good weekend and see you guys next week bye Thank you.